In 2015, the legendary bloodline began. Butts McRaven the first was born, and died to a thief two hours later. Oh no! Oh no! No! Butts the second was a master of the bow and arrow. He quested, explored, and then, got locked inside a room with three angry ladies. And died. No! Butts the third was an absolute unit of a man. He specialized in hand-to-hand -hand combat. As a joke. But then quickly became one of the strongest McCravens to ever live. He defeated Umbra, one of the strongest beings in Cryodil, in a fair 1v1 battle. And then he stepped on a trap, and died. Butts the fourth was the family's first mage. Who immediately died, because Streamer was still mad, that Butts the third died. And lost all of Umbra's armor. Butts the fifth, sixth, and seventh. All tried to get Umbra's armor back. And died. <laughs> Butts the eighth, was the first in the family to specialize in heavy armor and two-handed weapons. He quested, explored, and then stepped on a trap. And died. All these experiences have led up to this. Butts McCraven the ninth. The last McCraven. He walks up to this to pick Shh. up the. You'll spook the deer. Okay. Butts McRaven the Ninth traveled back to the Imperial City in order to meet a friend of the family, the Great hey, Prince, the Grand Champion of the Imperial City's arena. The, the Great Prince Lord, believes so himself to be the blood of royalty and tasks us with finding out about his heritage. So I have For those of you that prince. remember, Butts McRaven the Third also took this quest from the Grey Prince. And you may also remember that the Grey Prince's Who father is a vampire, a very hungry you vampire, who Please. chased Buds McCraven the third all the way oh. to the town of Ingo, and killed the entire fighter's hill. Buds McCraven the ninth accepted the Grey Prince's quest, and traveled to Crowhaven, in order to confront his father. That guy uh, was really high level. I'm kind of sad that I just killed him. <laughs> He's too powerful. Butts of the Ninth is too powerful now. Oh, man. Wow. After the slight inconvenience of fighting a high level vampire, Butts McRaven the Ninth returned to the arena and began climbing the ranks to become the new Grand Champion. With his magical dagger, Shimmer Strike. Let's see if the blue team can end. His winning streak. What? Good right, here we go. Uh, uh, there we go. To the arena. Butts the ninth accidentally discovered how to get out of bounds in the arena. He then, immediately used this knowledge to see what would happen, if you attack the enemy combatant before the deathmatch officially begins. <laughs> God, it's amazing I can do that. Oh, it's amazing. Alright, one more hit. Can I just get one more hit in? <laughs> Apparently it's considered murder. But I got zero bounty. Murders one. <laughs> what the fuck? That's amazing. Butts McRaven the ninth defeated the Grey Prince. Became the new arena champion. And then returned to his home in Skingrad. ODST in four? My jam. ODST was a mess. What are you, you 12? Oh, fuck you, dude. You
your path is clear. What's the matter? Okay, sorry about that. Some guy just came into my house. He broke into my house. It was so weird. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, tomorrow will be Ratchet and Clink 2. After dealing with the break-in, Butts the Ninth came up with a pretty cool idea. But first, he'd need to get a high-level sword to do it. So he set out to find one. I know by a 400% chance I can get a good sword from an Oblivion Gate. And I know that there's definitely an Oblivion Gate over here because there's billions of Oblivion Gates on the road from Skingrad. After dealing with whatever that was, Butts the Ninth went into an Oblivion Gate, and came back with a sword worthy of his really cool idea. He then returned to the Imperial City, and went to the Arcane University to complete his really cool idea. Making the most powerful sword in Tamriel. A process that will take quite a bit of trial and error. And as such, some rules will be broken here. But don't worry. It's worth it, and also it's for science, or something. Redo this correctly. All right, so we want to go into this thing, add the item of the date, date or more, clean more. All right, add the grand soul gem, and we want it to damage fatigue. All right, they know that doesn't work. Okay. All right. So, what about drain fatigue? For those of you that are unfamiliar with oblivion enchanting. The quality of soul gem and how much money you have, is what controls how many spells and the power of their effects you can place on an item. Different spells cost different amounts. And for this project, Butts the Ninth is trying to create the ultimate cheese weapon. A weapon that mimics the effects, of paralysis. He doesn't know yet. But he's about to create something far more powerful than that. Actually, let's not mix and match. Let's see what Drain Fatigue 100 points for two seconds actually does we need to we need to test test cheese okay great this is where the trial and error portion of the process begins hey come on now there's no need to get violent hey come on stop, stop right there All right, it doesn't look like it does much. Okay. Let's see what a drain, sp drain speed by uh, two points does. 
test cheese. Help! Help! I'm being attacked! It's all... It's all over. Then. Oh, God, okay. And just like that, Butts the Ninth stumbled across a Todd Howard classic in Oblivion. If an enemy's speed attribute reaches zero, the game thinks the NPC is stuck and resets their targeting, removing them from combat. This effect only lasts for a short time, since Butts the Ninth was only able to make the speed drain last for two seconds. But it is enough. And if we know Todd Howard games, we know that a glitch usually leads to another glitch. How do you do? In this case, for some reason, when one of these guards' targeting is reset, Help. they are then considered Stop. an enemy and are treated then. as such by the members of the Arcane University. So then, this happens. Help. And with that, Butts the Ninth continued his adventures. He went swimming in lava just for fun. He met a guy that really hates horses. I honestly have no idea what's happening here. He found some pleasant individuals enjoying a drink outside. How do you do? What the fuck are you drinking? Go ahead. Damn, dude, calm down. Goodbye. Hello. What? Yes? Both of you, calm down. Good day. He found some exquisite weaponry. What is this? <laughs> uh <laughs> What is this? I need to solve this. I I have a bad feeling about this being in my inventory. He made friends with the local law enforcement. What is happening? What? Who are you? No, that's the guard. Okay. No, that's the bandit.
What? He even returned home and tidied up his house. Okay, I'm actually kind of tired of this guy being in. We're gonna tuck this guy in. God damn it. I don't think I can get him up there. Dude, I don't- I don't get it! I had both of his legs up there! Oh my god, he's gonna roll off, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. How? Oh. Okay. We did it! Sleep type, little boy! <laughs> Alright, now we gotta... We gotta make sure... <laughs> Let's have him sit up a little bit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there we go. There we go. By the way, while all of this was happening, Butts the Ninth was also completing the main quest. He fought alongside the blades to push back the Oblivion Gate invasions. He then, invaded the Oblivion Paradise, place. To do something. I don't remember. But he met this guy there. Hey dude, how are you? Oh, I'm you destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin, say you fought well. What's this you guy just like one shot me or something? And then, where will you be? Dead. And nothing. Alright. I guess this guy just wants to fight. Remember the sword we made at the Arcane University? This is its final version. The S5. I don't know why. I just met him. Hey, dude. Nice, dude. Purging Flames. Band of the Chosen. You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? You need to play along until he leaves. Mm -hmm. Just act like a prisoner and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Follow me and don't worry. You can trust me. How's the kazoo? Uh, it didn't survive the move. Is this guy serious? The pain God, stay away. What? <laughs> what? What do I do now? I needed him. And then, Martin turned into a dragon, shot Maroon's steak on, and then immediately died. And then the credits rolled. The okay. amulet is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings. With all of these accomplishments under his belt, Butts the Ninth just had Wait, one last quest to finish. I hope your journey was successful. I hope your expedition has been more successful than mine. <laughs> your research notes. Splendid! Just splendid! I almost feared that you'd never return. I'm glad to see I was incorrect. As promised, I'd like to compensate you for your efforts. He gave me three potions of light? What? Keep yourself safe, my friend.
Hey, they never knew it was me. Wow, whoa, what the heck happened up here? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, he's dead. Wow. What is, oh man. What, 235 gold this fucker had on him. He was holding out on me. 10 years of research, I saved his life for him, and he fucking gives me three, I'm stuck. Fuck this guy, dude. Nothing. Just a uh, strange, uh, strange weather we've been having recently, huh? It's real. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, you know, I just don't know what to put them. You, you ever, you ever heard about those mud crabs? Awful little beasts, aren't they? Why is he fucking stuck in this pose? What the hell? I can't move his legs. What do you He's just stuck like this. His legs are just stuck together. He's paralyzed. He is! <laughs> he died while he was paralyzed. What the heck? I can't believe they 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 kept this. You have my ears. Oh, I'm I'm doing this. I have to kill this guy right. Hold on a second. Wait, did I already get the dicks for this? Uh, hmm. Why don't I just then... Scum. Nobody breaks the law in my life. <laughs> then <laughs> he's dead. Why are you trying to find me too? Oh my God! I have never. Seen anything like this in this game? Bye. Oh my God. I can bring his head wherever I want it. What's this about? This is what happens when you don't pay me accordingly. <laughs> You're quite the acrobat. Greetings. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is my, uh, this is my, uh, this is my home. Christ! Jesus Christ! I'm never too busy for a good talk. <laughs> and with that, this long, long story finally comes to an end. After completing all of these monumental tasks, Butts the Ninth has been deemed unkillable and has beaten permadeath. This story, that began in 2015, spanned across nine characters, over 40 streams and over 256 gigabytes of footage has come to an end. And if you're wondering what, what happened to here? Butts the Ninth, the well, he went to jail One, for two, turning three, that guy four, into spaghetti five, and was guards? never seen again. Stop right there, what the fuck? Scum. Oh right, I killed that guy. <laughs>